Hello world, I'm out here with the Merit team as well as various members of the OSS team. And uh, if my voice sounds funny, I'm gonna explain that right now. We did a Brad Sims and Mike Brennan podcast on Thursday. I got a little fucked up, you know, had a little too much to drink, ate a bunch of edibles, also probably not a good idea. I woke up the next morning, throat fucking killing me. I stayed in Friday and Saturday night because I felt so fucked up. Like I get this way once on a blue moon where I just get sick as fuck for a few days, so. I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better. I'm on this Dayquil medication. Actually, I wanna be honest with you guys. Last night, you guys know about this dude, Fousey? He's got like a personal channel with like 2 million subscribers where he basically just like lives his life and does a vlog every day. And I always knew about him, but last night I did the thing where I like sat on YouTube for like, hours watching his daily vlogs. Casey Neistat's always been like my favorite vlogger dude for like the past few months. But I was watching this Fousey dude and it's like, it's so different. He really shows his depression. He shows how bipolar he is. He shows how fucked up he is really. And I just found that kind of like inspiring because when you watch Casey's vlogs, he's very like, everything seems like it's going well for him. Even when things don't go bad, he handles it very well. And that's dope to me. It's very like inspirational. You know, Casey Neistat's vlogs are very motivational because it's like, oh, he's got a great career. He's got his family. He's making all these videos. He's doing great for himself. It's very inspirational but at the same time it's kind of not relatable because it's like wow this guy has it together so well that i can't even imagine anything going badly for him like it seems like he can just handle every situation it was cool watching the fussy do last night even though i mean i'm gonna be honest with you it's like he's kind of a cunt he's kind of a douchebag to be totally honest with you like i mean i fucks with him i respect him but at the same time like the way he acts is just kind of like damn this is not my type of dude but I really just respect the fact that he was willing to put himself out there with the, the depression and everything. Because it's like, honestly, it's been so long for me since I've been depressed. It's been so long for me since I've really been in a bad place mentally. It's kind of hard for me to even remember what it was like being in that position and like being depressed and stuff. But I mean, I've been there. Like, I think the reason why Fusi, the reason why Casey Neistat, the reason why Roman Atwood, like that they do so good is because they fucking do a video every single day. And to be honest, like with running all these businesses and everything, I just don't feel ready to do a video every day. Like YouTube is just extended social media. It's just like a longer version of it because everybody feels comfortable writing a tweet that says something revealing about their life. Whether it's like, oh, here's something that I've been working on or whether it's like, I'm having a shitty day. Like nobody really, like most people feel all right about tweeting something like that or putting that kind of thing on Facebook or whatever. Those are little micro social media segments. But then if you look at YouTube, like with Casey Neistat, he's basically taking like what would normally be just a tweet, he's taking it and extending it and showing his whole day or like a lot of vloggers, like their vlogs aren't so they're, they're just an idea. Like to me, it's like I should be able to have one little observation throughout the day and just turn that into the daily video. I don't really necessarily want to make vlogs where I document my entire day every day, but I want to make vlogs where I take one little segment of the day and just talk about it. Like for instance, like I think that when I get a guest on the podcast. I can talk about it beforehand, talk about like what I think it's gonna be like, then do the interview, and then talk a little bit about what the interview was like afterwards, talk about like what I thought of the guest, what, stuff like that. To me, like that's like a prime example right there, is like that's one thing I'm doing. And what I think a lot of people don't agree with or don't understand is that to me, it takes a lot of fucking like courage to, to go out and make a vlog. Like look at me for the last two days when I was sick. All I was doing is laying in fucking bed feeling bad for myself, feeling like shit. I couldn't have vlogged if I fucking wanted to. I know I've been going so hard with the podcast and I really do believe in the podcast and I really want to keep like chasing that and just doing as many as I can and stuff. And I definitely still am trying to keep up with like doing at least two a week. But I also just want to start doing more vlogs where I can just talk about what I'm actually going through in terms of starting No Jumper and building No Jumper up and what it's like seeing the social media stats and the views and everything get ramped up. Like I want to be able to share some of my happiness that I'm having about the success of my podcast, as well as some of the self doubt and some of the like loathing and some of the, the nervousness that comes with it, where it's like when you have all these highs, when you like are dropping podcasts quite frequently, that are doing like extremely good numbers, especially like right now, after I've been dropping like for the past two weeks, three weeks, pretty much just like nonstop, like hammer episodes that are just like doing numbers, building up the following like crazy, letting a shitload of people know about it. But it's like, it's very one-sided if I just act like my whole life is just, oh, success. And like, I'm just doing well for myself and everything. Because the truth is that even though I'm experiencing success with my podcast now, it's like, I had 
you know, years before this in which I wanted to do it that I didn't do it and that I was procrastinating and that I was, you know, fucked up in the head not wanting to like take that step of like introducing myself to the world. And like, to me, there's a certain level to which doing a podcast is like just sharing your life with the world and just being completely open with the world. And that to me is something that I really, really admire and look up to. So even like the Fousey shit that I was watching last night, it's like, I don't really like relate to him directly about everything, but I do look at him and I'm like, you're giving a lot of yourself to the world. You're taking the rewards with it. And I just, I respect the fuck out of that. So that's what I'm, uh, I'm trying to do. Even when it's like long rambling spiels like this, I'm trying to like actually get into the vlogging habit more. So whether you like this one or not, Hey, this is, it's my attempt at vlogging. Maybe I'll think of something else to talk about later. That's what I'm going to keep trying to train my brain to do is just like think of that one good topic to talk about, whether it's something inspirational, whether it's kind of like a review. Uh, I just want to like, you know, I just want to do something. I just want to do something every day and just keep going with that, uh, that habit. So, Hey,